The one thing I want people to take away from my opening keynote presentation is if you want to have an influence on your team or your organization or your community or the tourism industry in Nebraska, you have to start with you. So the biggest takeaway from my talk today is probably that when we move towards those things that scare us and get out of our comfort zone, that's where creativity really happens. So when it comes to promoting tourism in Nebraska, you know, don't be afraid to try something new. Take a risk and embrace those crazy ideas maybe that some of your colleagues are bringing forth instead of shooting them down because uh, they go out into the unknown. Well, what I'm most excited about the conference is to see it come to life. You know, we've been planning and the staff has been planning and to see how the speakers have all connected together, our keynotes. You know, Dean Savoca yesterday talking about leadership, being a better leader. And, and today, Jonah talking about creativity and where that really lives is outside of people's comfort zones and pushing the status quo. Seeing all those things mesh together has been really exciting. And the workshops, the breakout sessions have all been picked by specific things and specific interest areas. So I think we've really nailed it. And I've already had really great comments. We have so many different connections that we make with individuals here at the conference. So it's just fun to see people that you haven't maybe seen in a year. The thing that really keeps me coming back each year for the conference is probably the networking. Uh, you know, getting to talk to my colleagues and see how they do things and uh, some of the projects that they have going on. Uh, that's, that's probably the biggest for me. It's kind of like a family reunion to a certain extent. You see the same people over and over again. You might only see them once a year, but you know, you can almost guarantee that they're here at the conference every single year. The Tourism Conference uh, brings over tourism professionals from all over Nebraska. And for me, it is the opportunity to connect with all of these professionals across the state. That's the biggest takeaway that I have from this conference. I think the one thing I'd recommend doing in Nebraska more than anything else is just taking in some of what we have to offer in terms of scenery and, and this is such a picturesque state. You have to go out and look for it a little bit, uh, but it's there. I mean, there's some really cool things that you can only see in, in out in western Nebraska that we love to share with people, so uh, that's what I'd recommend doing. Well, personally for me, it's all about wildlife. So growing up, I was always around wildlife and that's really what I wanted to do. And the fact that it helps Nebraska just makes it that much better. Helping out at this year's tourism conference, I've enjoyed most just seeing the community come together, especially in Nebraska City, where I've never actually visited. So it's been really nice to see people from around the state come together for the common goal of tourism. I decided to attend the conference because the American Bus Association will be hosting our annual marketplace in Omaha in January of 2020. So it was a great way to partner with Omaha and to also get the word out that we were excited to be coming to Nebraska. The presenter I look forward to the most every year is Dean Jacobs, and really just giving some real good, heartfelt advice, especially come 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning. The speaker that I really enjoyed at this year's conference was Jamie and Rush, who talked about how to do videos on a shoestring budget. It was incredible. He actually taught us a lot of cool stuff in terms of technology, and the videos are the thing to do anyways, so it was a great, uh, great session to learn from. Perfect. Did it come out well? Yes. Do okay. I pay you now or...? <laughs> <laughs> See, we have a witness in the room. <laughs> the one thing that I can recommend is coming to our city during the College World Series. It's the thing that Omaha does, and no one else does it, and we've done it for years, and we do it really well, and it's a great time in the city. As president of the Nebraska Association of Bed and Breakfast, the one thing I can't do anywhere else is stay at our member inns. And I love my members. Their inns are fabulous. The one thing that I love is right in my backyard here in Nebraska City, and that is Arbor Lodge State Historical Park and the mansion. Well, the one thing that people need to do in the state of Nebraska that you can't do anywhere else in this state is come to Krejcik Elk and Buffalo Ranch Covered Wagon Tours where you can hand feed a buffalo or pet an elk or pet cow elk Susie. It's pretty fun and a unique experience. Well, the one thing I know for sure you can't do anywhere else is flow the Niobrara River. It's a national scenic river up by Valentine and it's awesome. The one thing I would recommend doing in Nebraska is um, seeing the cranes, and not just the cranes, but the nature and everything that Nebraska has to offer. If I could recommend anything in the state of Nebraska, it would be to drive the Sand Hills. It's a beautiful area, and it's unlike anything in the United States. 
The one thing that I will do when I come back to Nebraska with my family is Lake McConaughey. I've heard incredible things. My family loves nature, the outdoors, fly fishing, camping, that whole experience. And I can see that that has a lot to offer here. Take your time, you know, take a deep breath and, and go, go discover those things that you may not know existed. You know, peel back the onion a little bit, look below the surface. Those are the kinds of things that if you do, you'll find magic here. The sand hills, you know, we shot TV commercials that people will see about tanking. Nobody else in the country knows about tanking, and we have a whole commercial about it now because it's just so doggone much fun. No, we're good. Well, the presentation that I enjoyed the most so far is the Optics Doc. <laughs> Who am I most excited to see at this year's conference? Of course, John Ricks, because he's super excited to unveil Nebraska's new marketing campaign, and I am excited for his excitement. Well, what I'm most excited about about the whole conference is that I, I'm going to start over again because I can't remember what I said before. It took me a while. <laughs> um, one thing I... Well, that person that I most want to give a hard time to this year is Tracy Jeffrey, and you know why, because you were supposed to be in this chair doing this piece right here, and you chickened out. So you're going to have to do this next year because I'm going to make you do it next year. You know who I look forward to seeing every year is David Fudge. I have really enjoyed working with him in the NIDA aspect. He is the president right now and I'm vice chair, so I feel like we've really built that relationship up with each other. I have another one too. Roger Jasnock, he looks like the My Pillow. Do you guys know Roger Jasnock? He looks like, you know, the My Pillow guy? 